ain't a missed three in a row. He never missed two in a row, man. What you doing? Come on. Hey, you better go get on. Even Lethal said, I got to go get me a layup. And he even smoked the layup. He even smoked the layup. That man said, I done missed three, four shots in a row. I need to go get on that. Hey, guys. It's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good and out there, 2K land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with this tweet from these guys, man, asking, look here. What is the worst thing about NBA 2K25, man? We're going to talk about all of that because a lot of people have a lot of opinions. Some people are going to say shooting. Some people are going to say um, the game movement. Some people are going to say the game speed. Some people are going to say it's going to be all over the place, man. I don't think there's ever going to be a consensus on what's the worst thing about any particular 2K. But one thing I can tell y'all is that we are going to get to the bottom of that in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. What is the worst thing about this 2K? And y'all already know what we're trying to go with this thing because each and every one of your comments help us go to the moon, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. I have fixed my jump shot. I'm letting y'all know I was going there the other day while I was playing with Carl Paul. Ooh, they got me right now. <laughs> Hey, we was playing with Carl Paul. He helped me fix my jump shot. He gave, I, hey, look, I'm telling you, I'm on it now. I'm hooping. I shot like 80% over my last few games, like four, five, four, six, uh, four, five, four, six, five or six, you know, stuff like that. We were playing wreck this morning, man. So I feel like I have gotten my shot together a lot, man. But one thing that a lot of people, so I'm gonna tell you how I did that later on today, man. I'm gonna tell you all the steps I did, everything that I did, and we're gonna talk about that. But my boy, Hey, Jay, Job Bridge, well, he says, hey, skill-based matchmaking. This is what a lot of people hate about the game. They think this is the worst thing. Y'all let me know what the worst thing about 2K is in the comment section and hit the like on the video. But he says, 2K will never remove, 2K25 never remove skill-based matchmaking because casuals love SBMM. SBMM is skill-based matchmaking. That means that you're going to play against people that are on your level. So if you see, like, we don't see a lot of people missing because I'm, I'm always either red or I'm gold or what have you. So when you got that, that means that you're gonna be playing against higher level competition. So a lot of times we play against people, we're not seeing that many people miss, but but you know you might just have started the game and then you see a lot of people missing. So that's how that's gonna go, but it really goes by the level of competition. This young man right here says, he said that's skill-based matchmaking. Like that's the biggest freaking lie I've heard since the game dropped. If you don't, under, if you don't notice that that's skill-based matchmaking in the game, that means that the skill-based matchmaking is doing its job. You're playing against people that are on your level of competition and you're not constantly getting your head beat in by people that are better than you. But at the same time, if you're on the red level and the gold level, you, you're gonna struggle to find games and every game is gonna be sweaty. It's in the park. It's that like, bro, you be playing against, like if, you, if you're if a good player, you be like, dang, bro, I ain't never played against, played against this many guards that got this type of movement and stuff like that, man. And so, like I said, if you don't notice the skill-based matchmaking, it means that it's working. It means that you're not gonna be playing against a lot of people that are above your head. You're gonna be playing against people that are on your level. I don't know how it works when you play, play with people. Like if I play with somebody that's got a black card, Oh, what have you? Excuse me. I don't know. But I do know that it, I'm red and it's always red, man. So I'm always playing against people on my same level of competition. That doesn't mean they're necessarily good. That just means that they've won enough games or performed well enough in order to be on that level. So there you go. Up next, we got that boy. This is what I hate about the game. All City Big Heck, man. He's talking about he got 15 Gs. I mean, 50 Gs out of that thing, man. I went and spent the wheel this morning, man. I got 1,500. So... You know, that's how that goes. That boy Coyote, man, he got this thing right here. He says, um, he's talking about what he got up there, man. Hey, this is what 2K Labs, I mean, 2K Intel says, green, green, slightly late, slightly late, green, slightly late, slightly late, green, slightly late, slightly late. Like this is what, this is what a lot of people are going through on this game and they just cannot deal with it. And I know, I know that I was part of that, part of that thing too, man, but I really had to go get in the lab, lock in, find the jumper, Really just asked Paul what he was using because that boy was chicken. I say that boy was chicken. And that Paul was chick last night. We got two people that don't even play the game like that right now. TT was out there and Paul was out there. Them boys was hitting like it wasn't no tomorrow. And so, in my opinion, yes, that is some inconsistency with the shooting. It's far from perfect. But I do think that it does help uh, you know, like like the the flow of the game, like you really have to think before you just go 
firing three. I don't know why. So why am I yelling at you? Gotta really, really, you really have to think before you go firing threes in this game, man. And I think that's all that Mike really wanted to do, plant that seed of doubt. And, you know, as the game goes on, we will get used to our jump shot. We will get used to this thing. But the main thing we got to get used to is playing defense and, and rebounding and stuff in the meantime because that's very important in this game. If you don't do those things, you're not you're not going to win because you cannot just rely on offense this year. It just is what it is. Up next, we got that boy, man, man, grind the f card. Say, hey, man, I miss more dunks and layups than threes. The latency is a bigger issue than the shooting. That's why you're throwing Stevies and interceptions too, man. Like, how many times have you played the game, right? And you're like, hey, bro, I've been past that. And it's like the game stands you in one spot and doesn't allow you to throw the pass until the other guy gets in the position because it's already decided that the next pass is going to be an interception or a blitz steal. And it locks you in place. You can't do any inputs. And the next thing you know, boom, the ball is gone. I do think that the, the, the uh, lag and all of that is a much bigger issue than a lot of the things, uh, than the shooting. Maybe the steals and all of that, the warp steals especially. But like I said, these are the things that we can't stand about the game. And it just, that's just how it goes, man. Like, um, like it, it warp steals and shot inconsistency. It's, those are probably going to be at the top, man. Why am I yawning so much? Jay, Jay, shut the f up. Shut the f up like my boy Hard 8 said, man. Come on, man. Stop yawning. Get through the rest of this. That boy doggone now. Speaking of shooting, that boy dime work. He came through and he says, hey, it's like dudes think that they can't suck at 2K. That's the problem. Every time Mike Wong ca uh, caves into the complaints, he's reinforcing that type of behavior, right? It's just like if a girl do something and then you tell her that's wrong and then she go crying and whining about it and then you just, you know, you give in. You're reinforcing that behavior. And then until you take yourself from the situation, and then, you know, like when you stop, stop reacting the same way. And she's like, huh, I really did something this time. This might, then, then you know, you know, that, that kind of gets everything back in order. But every time Mike, so he reinforcing that behavior, pass the game until everybody's good at it. If you're trying to avoid complaints, that's the only way to do it. Got to be okay with people crying because they suck. That's, that's true. You got to be okay with people crying because they suck. Uh, they will get better or stop playing. And the less, the less of these individuals we have, the better the community as a whole is win-win situation they are you know what I'm saying they, they're just not good people man you know i don't like i don't like to say that word you know what i'm saying because you know f f that word but you know they they're not good people man they, they just they're what's wrong with the people the, the, the community of parasites we'll just say that right there man i look at it like i do i do get what he's saying because when you play a game that's not easy like you play counter-strike or if you play Team Fortress, or if you play like, uh, you know, different games like that, or you play uh, Apex Legends, you play the game and you play the game that they put in front of you and then you get good at the game and then they do something that makes the game to where everybody's on a level playing field. That's not necessarily a good thing, man. I don't think anybody likes that, especially when you put in the sweat equity to get better. When you have not, you probably don't care. But when you have, it's like, bro, I don't want that to be the case, man. Up next, we got Drave said, he said, hey, we released NBA 2K20 uh, 25 about two weeks ago now. Uh, what's the vibe? What's the vibe on what we made uh, made for y'all in my career? Anything in particular that, <laughs> that people are really enjoying, anything you don't really vibe with, let me know what everyone is thinking, man. And he says, is the goal, uh, is the goal, goat, he's trying to say, is the goat fit intended to give 1.5 reps some people are getting it some people are not he just says i'm actually not sure uh i was out of town i was out of town the past few days you know they had to go on their little vacation they go on their quick vacation when they do it and you know they come on back so i'm a little out of the loop uh with with what's been going on don't don't really want to comment on it the way i would comment on it one way or the other since rep progression isn't my area i know that's kind of a boring answer sorry sorry uh though but hey man i appreciate that man say so some people saying my career is dope some you know some dudes saying fix situation in my career uh they got they got me playing 40 plus minutes <laughs> he said i used to have the same issue after the patch on friday you should not be having that issue after the patch on friday but uh i like what he said i like what drew said man drew said i i I, I'm not familiar with that, so I can't really speak on that. Unlike 2K Intel, where they said, you know, they said, this is what they said about Sia. They said, spot ups talking about shooting in 2K is fine. It's hilarious to me. Uh, please play PG, which is crazy because if you did an ounce, an ounce, a single solitary ounce 
of research prior to putting this out you would know that Sid 67 is one of the premier guards in the community and now uh, you do say hey he mainly plays guard of, of course Sid had to drop his mixtape right there and he said don't know how you don't know what you're talking about just yapping exactly he said bro you complain a lot hey park uh whatever you know somebody else said and you know it's just crazy because um he said what's that non shooting guards need to switch positions it's a video game blah 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 listen man um like dude said he low-key spitting though but but the whole point is uh with this one dude right here they say see it is not a spot up see it is not a spot up dude but yeah it yeah it's mostly them saying that so he's saying most people the most people that are saying that shooting is fine are spot ups but see it ain't no spot up man and as he said see just asked him he said respectfully of course please get your facts right i play primarily point guard in all modes i was just showing i could still shoot excellent on a center with a 78 three ball that's all he's trying to tell you man listen man hey you know uh <laughs> bro why why dime work be killing me boy he said this page this dude page need to be eradicated dude provides no leaks puts ads on on reposts of other people's content and spews misinformation bro whoa Dial work ain't going this year, bro. Y'all can sit here and think that dial work going. He's not going. And that's Gambit shooting on the center, man. And he missed that. That ain't Gambit. You supposed to be. You was doinky man on that, man. You supposed to be like this. Bang, bang. That's what it's supposed to be, man. But anyway, hey, Chalk said, Chalk got something for y'all. He said, people keep saying, drop your card. I literally shooting 60% on the hardest sliders in 2K. What's the excuse now? And he's, a, and he's a PG or whatever. He said, good stuff, but it's easy when, you're, when your point guard is Joe knows, LOL. Uh, LOL, I run with, I run, I run with no matter what, I run with no matter what I play, LOL. The PG is what I run no matter what I play, uh, where I play. All, all have low pass. Bro, I don't know what he said. All the PGs I play with, they got low pass accuracy and tunnel vision. I'm still shooting 58%, but it's a lot easier when your point guard uh, have gold down. Bro, it don't matter what people got, bro. Like, like shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. It doesn't matter about the dime, bro. We already know all of this stuff that's in the game. We know that you're going to get different speeds off different diamonds and all that. That's why them boys said you have to sit there and watch your animation to the fullest. I have begun watching my animation to the fullest and hey it is what it is and uh chalk just came back and said this is uh this is proving grounds my brother i'm the pg again people got to sit there and do their research before they do something man because I'm, I'm i promise you i'm shooting um uh, i'm shooting a higher percentage on the harder levels than i am on the easier joints and it may be because i've played the harder joints way more and so i've adapted to those and so like when you go into the other ones the, the harder levels are slower like pro-am team pro-am threes pro am proven grounds all that slower so maybe i've adapted to that so when i go to the park and then when i go to the theater you know it's, it's hard to get back on the uh fast joints man so it is what it is hey to our uh, power df says i believe that what we're witnessing is sh about shooting complaints is not about 2k it's about loss of power for years left writers and <laughs> left writers and high three-point bills have dominated the game now other bills are equal when you're accustomed to privilege equality feels like oppression dang man i'm gonna give you one on that power dang 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 hey that's hey it is what it is man when you used to get in your way man that's why i like when you tell you it's like when like again it's like when you tell your girl yes all the time and then when you finally tell her no she got a snap she want to pop out and show you like like it's like bro I, I literally say yes to everything that you say and now that i finally said no or whatever now we got a problem like that's how it is when you're accustomed to getting your way it's like dang why can't i get my way this time it is what it is man up next we got that boy down where it says dale's telling you hey hey you might want to learn this new fe this new feature or way of doing things it will benefit you in the long run and dudes say no thanks and that's what we laughing at man we laughing at you. we all laughing at you. listen i'm gonna use the shot stick man I'm, I'm the biggest advocate of it right now I'm going to use the shot stick. I'm gonna do my thing and all that, man, because I need it. Cause when you got this right here, well, where you got uh, your boy Lethal Shooter in here, bricking man, what hope do any of us have when when, when my boy Chris Matthews is in this thing, bricking like that? That jump man, Jern put that thing out there, boy. Come on, man, Lethal, Lethal. But that thing to miss three in a row, he never missed two in a row, man. What you doing? Come on, hey, you better go get on. Even Lethal said I gotta go get me a layup. And he even smoked the layup. He even smoked the layup. That man said, I done missed three, four shots in a row. I need to go get on that rim. And it didn't even work, man. So hey, it is what it is. Nobody is exempt, man. It is 
what it is. And then, hey, he came back and said, Downward came back and said, when you dudes realize that whether you use rhythm shooting or the shot button, you're still gonna be, you're still gonna be ass. Then, then you'll stop. Then you'll stop acting like the victim. Don't be mad at a few at a new feature in the game and start pointing the blame now. You just suck at the game, dog, and it's cool. It's only two weeks in. Be uh, you'll be all right. Just keep grinding, and that's really what it is, man. We're only two weeks in. We are two solid weeks in, and Friday will actually be two weeks for the masses. Everything else was was two weeks for everybody else, man. So you know, for the people that got the game early, the sweat, the the uh, you know, sweat heads like me, man. So it, it is what it is. Up next, hey, that boy said inside centers is gonna be the meta, man. And I don't think the inside centers will be the meta, but I can tell you this. I can tell you that I, uh, again, I, I started out shooting bad. And today I did a few things that made me, made me get better. One of the things I did, I can tell you this, like, look at that, bro. But look at these, look at the shot chart. It's like my boy T said, hey, you think people be chicken out here until you hit that start board. Eight of 20, eight of 20? God damn, bro, what are we doing here? Like, like it, it is what it is, three or seven from three, two or six. Five or 13, like you really be thinking people be chicken, man, and then they don't when you hit that start button. So it is what it is. And because of that, it brings us to where we are, where Badgie Pluggy says the game is now in shambles because I can 100% confirm that they have a, a meter on rhythm shooter script. Now, this hurts my heart because I've, I've tried so hard to get better at this and, uh, you know, this is where we get. He said, 2K, you need to update the game to where you where you can see if someone's using the meter, like in previous games. And dude says, hey, what would that do? Genuinely asking people, people shamelessly stream themselves cheating in 2K24 and, they, and, they're, uh, and they're doing it this year again. Haven't seen one Zen user banned in my life. And he says, hey, you'll have a better chance of knowing, you have a better chance of knowing if, you're, if your opponent is cheating, even if, you, even if 2K doesn't ban them, I think that there's there's no arguing when when we should be able to see uh, if the other person is using the meter or not. And he said, I feel like 2K encourages cheater. I feel like 2K encourages cheater. Why would why would 2K take out uh, take that out for us to see the opponent uh, if the opponents are using the shot meter? Why would they take out the percentage of coverages? That's true. And I don't care about the uh, the light pressure or the tight pressure. Uh, it's it's hitting 65 percent tight consistently that uh that we know is it's bs right there and then he came back and said hey the zen and titan thing can now time rhythm shots and he says you're yapping and you don't even realize it. he says hey i guess i didn't just watch dude hold the right right stick down uh with a face cam on whatever man so he's saying that not only are they doing it they're doing it rather brazenly bro they are out there with it and they don't care man they, they're saying like hey if you think that we care about you guys um knowing that we're cheating i hope this is the right button let me see is this it we do not care hey man he said we do not care bro we gonna cheat and we gonna cheat brazenly and it ain't nothing that y'all can really do about it man so we're gonna see what happens man like i said what is your favorite thing in 2k what's your least favorite thing in this game i'm cool with the shooting i'm figuring it out brute is figuring it out I think everybody on our squad is making a move toward the shot stick or what have you, the rhythm stick. Uh, Gambit and I have been on it and we've been, you know, we've been labbing it, trying to figure it out. I'm gonna make another video today to help you guys get better at shooting because I have gotten tremendously better over the last 24 hours just by working with Paul, finding a good jump shot and doing some other stuff, man. We're gonna talk about all that in that video later. Make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below and I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Guys, please, guys, please.